I am already sweating, oh my goodness, and we haven't even gotten started. Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my wish list for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. If you missed my previous video, I shared with you my top tips. I take a very strategic approach when it comes to shopping this sale. I also shared my recommendations and pointed out some of the best-selling items in the sale that you're definitely going to want to check out. So I'll have that video linked in the description box down below. But today is all about my wish list. So all the items that I intend on purchasing during the sale. So I will link all of them in the description box down below in order in case you want to check any of them out or perhaps add them to your wish list. You can check out really quickly when it comes time to actually shop the sale. I'm also going to be doing some try on hauls and I have some fun giveaways plan. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. Make sure you do it right now. I'll give you a minute. Have you subscribed? Perfect, and make sure you're following me over on Instagram as well because I'm gonna be doing some trials on stories and of course giving you more information about the giveaways. And I also incorporate a lot of fashion and beauty and lifestyle over there, so I would absolutely love to have you. You can find me at the Flatalista. So where to start? I think we're gonna kick things off with clothing and I'm going to be looking at my phone a little bit because I've taken some notes. <laughs> so I really hope that's okay. So the first item, on my Nordstrom anniversary sale wish list is the Via Spiga faux fur hooded vest in the shade Ivory. I think that vest is just absolutely stunning. It is super bougie, a little bit extra, but I think it is so incredibly me. You know how I plan on styling it? Is with my Spanx faux leather leggings. And guess what? Those are also part of the sale. I will link those in the description box down below. I picked them up last year. And not only are they one of the best selling items, but they are probably my most worn pair of leggings in my fall wardrobe. And I think that vest would just really help to elevate them. I'm thinking paired with a really cute pair of ankle booties and maybe some knee high boots when the temperatures start to cool down a little bit. So it also comes in black if white's not your thing, but I'm really excited about it. So this might shock you, but that's the only clothing item that I'm actually going to be picking up in the sale. So we're going to move over to Perhaps my favorite category, can you guess? Yes, it is shoes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about some of these. So, the top pair of shoes on my wish list are the Mark Fisher O'Shea, I think that's how you say it, pointed toe booty in the shade ivory leather. I don't have anything like those booties in my wardrobe. That color, oh, it got me. I'm so excited about them. I do have a pair of white knee-high boots that are leather that are my most worn pair of knee-high boots. I love them. But to have those ankle booties, oh, it would just like complete my fall wardrobe. They do come in several other shades. And I also really like soft browns and cognac shades during the fall season. But since I already have a few pairs in those tones, I think this ivory leather is going to be absolutely perfect. So these retail for $99.90, which I think is a really great deal. And they come in five different colors. Next up, and I appreciate that these are not going to be for everyone, but I think they're so incredibly cool and they're just going to add a really nice vibe, I think, to some of my outfits. And they are the Sam Eidelman Lori Platform Combat Boot, and I'm going to go for them in the shade Bright White Leather. Yes. I'm so excited about them. I definitely will be pairing those with my Spanx full leather leggings as well, and I think with some jeans, but how cute would those actually look with a skirt or a dress? You could even wear them with a pair of tights when the temperatures start to cool. I appreciate they're not everyone's cup of tea, but they certainly are mine. I think they're gonna give some of my outfits a really cool and edgy vibe, and so they have made it on to my wish list. They do come in three different colors, black and pink, the pink's a little bit out there, but black, you know, super classic, and they are a real leather boot, so you're really getting that quality, which is something I talked about in my previous video. And next up are the Air Max 270, 270? Premium sneaker in the shade Light Cream Gold and Terra Blush. These running shoes do not have a price on them, so I'm not 100% sure how much they're going to be, but I think they're super cool, and I've been in the need of a nice pair of running shoes. My Nikes, they're black by the way. I have had those running shoes 
do not judge me for probably six or seven years. That's a really long time to have a pair of running shoes. So I'm definitely due for an update. And I really like the colorway that we're seeing in this particular pair. Like they really caught my attention. In terms of athleisure and activewear, I typically go for quite neutral solid colors. So I think they're gonna be a fun pop of color and just make me excited about working out. But they do come in the black combination if you prefer. But if I were to guess the price, I'm anticipating that they'll be in the ballpark of around 100 US dollars in case you wanna factor that into your budget which was my top tip in my previous video. So let's move in to the home section. And at the top of my list, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. I don't know if I can pull the trigger because it's still expensive. But after looking at it for a couple of years now, yes, I've been eyeing this up for a couple of years, I think I might be ready to take the plunge. And I'm referring to the Barefoot Dreams in the wild throw blanket. Now I'm debating between two different shades, so please let me know in the comment section down below which one you think I should go for. I do have early access to the sale, so I'm hoping that one of the shades will be available by the time I'm able to get my hands on it. So I'm debating between Camel Stone or Stone Cream. Let me know which one you prefer. The blanket's pricey, it's $119.90 on sale. That's the sale price, which I think is super steep for a blanket. But since I've been working from home and I'm studying now, like I'm literally at my desk for the majority of the day, I really want to cozy up with a nice blanket and a nice cup of coffee and get some work done. So I'm thinking it's kind of like an investment into my home office environment. It does come in five different colors, but be snappy. It is hands down the top selling item I think of the entire sale. The other item that's on my wish list is the Velou Spa Maison Noire candle and I'm gonna go for it in the scent Crisp Champagne. If you don't know me, Champagne is my absolute favorite beverage. Oh, I absolutely love a nice glass of Champagne. It is bougie, it is extra, but it's so good. And then the packaging on the Velou Spa candles, definitely check them out. They are absolutely stunning. They would also make for some really great gifts for other people, especially because there's so many special occasions, even around Christmas time. But I thought the scent Crisp Champagne would kind of complement my fall environment. I really like burning candles in the fall and winter season, but I do find with the scents that they've released this year, a lot of them are quite fragrant and floral, which kind of gives me more spring summer vibes so crisp champagne I think is gonna be perfect for the fall and the winter season and then there's beauty and as I mentioned in my previous video I didn't really pay that much attention to the beauty products that were in the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year but let me tell you woo, they certainly have my attention this year so right at the top of my list is the hourglass veil primer and setting powder I have repurchased the Hourglass Setting Powder probably about four or five times. I've been using it for well over two years now. I've tried out quite a few different setting powders and in my opinion, absolutely nothing compares. I think it is the best. So I'm excited to try out the primer and in terms of the price, 59 US dollars, I think is amazing. I went onto the Sephora USA website and I calculated that the primer and a setting powder would retail together on Sephora for $100 and then they have it in the sale for $59. Now just to put it into perspective, the setting powder in Canadian dollars at Sephora is 60 Canadian alone. So I think it's an absolute steal and I'm really excited to stock up on it. Next up we have my all-time favorite lipstick and I'm really into lip products right now. I have quite the collection, but there is no lipstick that compares to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I'm wearing it today. I have the lip liner and the lipstick on. So it is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Secrets Set that is going to be in the sale. It retails for $68. It's not a massive savings. I think it's around $10 savings but it includes the gloss and I don't have the gloss and I noticed that I was running low on my lip liner and my lipstick and I literally cannot be without it. It is the most universally flattering shade on absolutely everyone and you can literally take it from daytime to night. For a matte formula, I've had it on pretty much all day and we're at five o'clock. So I think I put it around, well, around noon. So I've had the lipstick on for about five hours now. It still looks 
absolutely beautiful. It's super long wearing and I don't find that it dries out your lips and you can wear it casually. You can really glam it up in the evenings. Trust me, it is the best shade out there. So I'm super excited about that set. This next one, oh, this is a bougie purchase, but it immediately caught my attention when I spotted it just for the fall and winter. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's the Tom Ford Eye Color Quad and Mini Lip Color Set. It retails for $88 and I calculated the price. So the quads alone on Sephora retail for 75 to 88 USD, so American dollars. And then the mini lipsticks retail for 36. So they total would come to $147 and they have the set on sale for 88. I've never tried out any of the Tom Ford products, but I've heard really amazing things about them. So the quad that is in this set is in the shade Burnished Amber. They're all shimmer shades and shimmers are my absolute favorite formula of eyeshadow. I really prefer them over to matte. I always like to go for a little bit more of a glammed up look no matter what time of day. I love it and I just think all those tones are just exquisite <laughs> for the fall season. I really love them. And then in terms of the mini lipsticks, so they are a deluxe mini size but other than my Pillow Talk lipstick, I've never actually gone through an entire lipstick. And this is a really great opportunity to try out Tom Ford's lipsticks because they are really expensive. So the Deluxe Mini comes with the Scarlet Rouge and it's a cool tone red. A tip about red lipstick is if you go for a cool tone, as in they have a blue or a purple undertone, they make your teeth look a lot whiter. You wanna stay away from a warm tone, kind of orangey red lipsticks. They don't do a lot. For your pearly whites but a cool tone does so it's a really beautiful color i think for fall but also for the holiday season and the other mini lipstick is in the shade casablanca and it's a deep pink mauve it looks a little bit darker to the shade pillow talk that i have on today and for whatever reason i find kind of those like deep kind of mauvey tones just work really well i think because i have green eyes and green and purple complement each other on the color wheel so I'm really excited about it. It's definitely a bit steep in price, but to have the opportunity to try out those products, I think I'll get so much wear out of them for the fall season. And again, this would be a really beautiful gift set for someone perhaps around the Christmas or during the holiday season. Now, this next item I have actually been eyeing up for the past couple of months because I've been getting a lot more into sharing my makeup and I want to do a few more hair tutorials over on my Instagram stories because I've been getting some requests. So next on my list is the Ricky Skinny Lighted Mini Vanity Mirror. So on Ricky Loves Ricky, I believe that's the name of the website, the mirror retails for $195. It does come in a few different colors at full price on their website, but in the sale it has the shade rose gold. I think it's really pretty and I think for $130, I know it sounds kind of expensive for a vanity mini vanity mirror, but I love that you can attach your phone to it. Like that is just gonna make my life so much easier. It has the really nice LED lights all around it. And I literally have been thinking and trying to find out how to get my hands on this item in Canada. <laughs> so I was so excited to see that it was part of the sale. So after I added all of those items to my wish list, I decided to add up the total. And I excluded the price of the Nike running shoes because the price is still a mystery. So with the nine items excluding the Nikes it comes to 676 US dollars and I'm anticipating the running shoes are going to be at least around a hundred so with tax those 10 items come up to over 800 US dollars. It is going to add up very quickly, which brings me back to tip number one that I shared in my previous video. You definitely need to have a budget before you shop this sale. I'm not 100% sure if I am prepared to spend that amount of money. There might be some cuts. I'm just saying that's a lot. So just be mindful that as tempting as this sale is, it will add up fast. So make sure that you're prepared for that. I'd love to know what is on your Nordstrom anniversary sale wish list. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on and come follow me over on Instagram because we're gonna have trial hauls and of course giveaways, which I'm really excited about. I hope you are too. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you're having a fantastic summer and I cannot wait to see you back here in my next one. Take care. Bye.